But thankfully, nothing strong enough to knock down limbs. Yes, and no snow, actually. Yeah, you know, ooh, that's, that's that's most important. Uh, opening day game out in Pittsburgh. Uh, yeah. Boy, that was threatened <laughs> last night. They had like 50 mile per hour winds Yeesh. and visibilities down to zero, but it yeah. turned out to be a sunny day out there, although cool. That's great. But for here, gorgeous weather. I mean, mm -hmm. we almost flirted with our high today, a record high, which was 88. We fell short of that, mind you, but uh, we made a pretty good run at it. Got to tell you that. We are climbed into uh, the lower 80s and that's where we stand right now. A few more clouds have moved into the metro area. 81 degrees the present temperature with the west northwest breeze at 22 and those winds remain gusty and notice that dew point 34 percent that is a dry air mass. That's why the red flag warning or the critical fire danger is in effect for the Omaha metro area. Brentwood checking out the neighbors hoods sitting at 79 Autumn Grove at 80. 79 up in Bennington, Woodland Creek at 78, Sunrise at 80, and Golden Hills still clinging to that 80 degree mark. Looking at temperatures across the area, Columbus at 79, 77 up in Wayne, Lincoln still at 84. Uh, that's the warm spot, lower 80s from Omaha southward all the way down to the border. And the highs today were at 84 in the metro, same for Plattsmouth, Lincoln, and a red oak. So beautiful day out there today, albeit a windy one, and our winds are still still uh, fairly strong out there, 15 to 25 miles an hour. They're starting to make more of a northwesterly turn, though, from the west, that where it's been much of the afternoon, and they still remain gusty, although not as gusty as what they were this afternoon. We have seen some gusts as high as 40 miles an hour. Right now, it looks like the peak gust we're looking at on the map right now is down in Fall City at uh, 32 degrees. Thread tracker in the green for Monday, cooler temperatures, but on Tuesday, we'll elevate that to the yellow for the possibility of some rain showers, and then back to green on Wednesday. In terms of the radar, notice there's some returns out here, but what this is picking up on primarily is those clouds that we showed you. So nothing's really reaching the ground. There is a cold front to our north coming off that low pressure area, moving into Wisconsin. That eventually is going to settle southward, bringing some cooler weather, but we're not looking for any precipitation, at least for our area, although Futurecast is indicating that uh, by 10 o'clock tonight. But We'll see how that pans out. Right now, as I say, to the north of us, nothing is reaching the ground. At least I can't find any observations suggesting such. So we'll keep it dry, at least for the time being. We will see some clouds uh, through the evening hours. And then by tomorrow morning, more sunshine, 44 degrees is what the model says. I think we'll be around that uh, lower 40 degree mark, certainly. And then by lunchtime, we'll warm to near 50. Quite a contrast from what we saw today. In fact, temperatures will be about 30 degrees cooler uh, tomorrow afternoon from what we saw this afternoon. Quite a change. 40 degrees the overnight low tonight. Partly cloudy skies. North winds at 10 to 15 miles an hour for tomorrow. A few clouds mixing with sunshine. Highs tomorrow will be in the upper 50s. And then a look at the seven day forecast. Monday night after 1 a.m. there's a possibility of some rain showers. Better chances though on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday it looks like it's going to be windy. We're going to be seeing those uh, fairly gusty northwest winds both on Wednesday and Thursday. Temperatures a little bit uh, more seasonal toward the end of the week. 58 degrees on Friday, but for the weekend, looks like we'll be warming back into the 70s. There is a chance for a shower. 